gonna say no, no. Hey guys, it's Maliki today. Welcome back to my channel. Or two if you're new. And today for this look, I was trying to go as like an e-girl, but like I somehow ended up looking like an emo and I'm like, whoopsies. Anyways, today in this video, I will be telling a story time about how some person from school wanted to fight me and I was like, what? <laughs> Alright, so for this story, we're gonna have to like start from the very beginning. Alright, so like I remember the first time I talked to this person and it was like in third year and we were in like in the same maths class and we were like moving like levels i think it was like hired or near some stuff like that anyways we just had like a short conversation and she was really nice and everything was fine and i was like okay cool she's nice okay anyways she used to be really close with this um like other girl that i'm like good friends with so i'm like i talked to the other girl and i'm like yo why aren't you and this person friends anymore and basically my friend goes Oh, well basically we're best friends and stuff and she stopped being friends and we'd be friends with like other people who she taught were like more cool or popular and i was like girl what and then there was a lot of other stuff which i'm not even gonna say cause it doesn't matter to be honest it's not relevant anyways like that just kind of gave me bad vibes but anyways like i still talked to her and stuff but like i wouldn't consider her like my friend like we just talked occasionally if we had the same class Okay, anyways, now she's in two of my classes at the moment. She's in two of my classes. Anyways, I remember back in February, so that was nine months ago. Yeah, nine months ago, and I was dating with this one person, and then, like, she messaged this person, and she goes, why would you go out with Malika? And then he told me, and I was like, I'm just like, girl, what the hell? Since when do we have beef? Like, anyways... I just let it go because it's just weird, you know? And then after that, like a while recently, like I'd say it was like, like a month and a half ago, I had this thing with this person, but like we were never like official or like boyfriend and girlfriend, like that never happened. And then anyways, like one of his friends took a picture of me and this guy walking and he put on his story, what's going on here? And he put on his private story, like, th the guy's friend. Anyways, Sis has that person on Snapchat, and she's on his private story. And she screenshot it, and she puts on her story. I swear this girl gets a new guy every month. And I was like... Okay, first of all, I wasn't with this person. Second of all, I've had her block on everything since February, because... That stuff she told my ex just rubbed me the wrong way. So I blocked her and everything. I was just like, I don't like this girl. She's problematic. And she just, I didn't like what she did to like my friend and stuff. So. Yeah, also I forgot to mention, like after she had sent that message to my ex, I messaged her and I'm like, why I heard you said this? And she goes, okay, and? And I was like, girl, what? Also, there's like a lot of stuff about her that I could say that would make her really bad, but I'm not going to involve that. I'm not going to like add that in the video because my intention with this video is not to make her look bad. It's just to tell a story time and haters gonna hate. Basically, like the moral of this video is people are always gonna hate her sometimes for no reason. It's just like, you know what, block her. And then the guys, okay, so basically a few people are just like, yo, Malika, she put you on her Snapchat story and she said this and I'm like, See, I don't even have her on Snapchat, so why is she attacking me? And like everyone in the school like knew that was me, like whoever had her on Snapchat. And I'm just like, what is she doing? It's really weird. Like, the reason why this is really weird is because we literally don't even talk. Like, since that like third year, like we had just talked a few times like casually in class. Like it was just like small talk. Like. We're not, we don't even say hello if we see each other in the hall. Like, honestly, I think the last time we talked in person, it was like last year, ages ago. See, the fact that I can't even remember, it's like, we don't talk, like, at all. It's like we're strangers, like, you know, like, you pass people in the school. It's like that, like that, literally. Oh, wait, like, we have no beef, we've never been in an argument before, so I'm just like, girl, get some help. So basically, after the whole Snapchat stuff happened, I was kind of pressed. I'm like, 
girl, don't be taking pictures of me and putting it on your freaking story, you weirdo. I have you blocked and stuff. Anyways, like that's that's how I felt, you know. So basically, I, I DM her on Instagram and I'm like, girl, I don't know if I ever said stuff about you, whether I did or not. Either ways, I'm sorry. Let's just cut the drama. Let's just. Like, girl, stop. Like, you used to be nice to me. Just be nice. It looks nicer on you. Blah, blah, blah. I said all that stuff. And she just screenshot what I said. And I'm like... like I was just really confused. I'm just like... Why are you attacking me, sis? We don't even speak. Alright. And then... Recently, like, my friend was on this trip with, like, a school. It was, like, for one of her classes. Anyways... And my friend said that she heard some girl like telling some other girl, like some other girl, that I was with someone in the school and that I said dead threats to one of my best friends. And I was like, who said this? And then I guessed and then my friend was like, yep, it's this person. Okay, first of all, I'm not with anyone in the school. So I don't know where that came from. Anyways, my friend like defended me and stuff and she was like, Malika's not with anyone in the school and she wouldn't set in dead threats and all that and she was like, how did you know? And That's insane! We don't even speak and you're making up rumors about me to other people. That's so weird. Like, that actually creeps me out low-key. Low-key. Like, low-key. Like, that's so weird. Okay. And now, let's talk about the second part. She said that I sent death threats to this other girl. I was like, why would she? I don't even know. Okay. So basically, there's this girl, and honestly, I call her my best friend because, like, we're just really close. But, like, we're in different years, so we don't hang out, like, around school as much as we used to. But, like, there's, like, no fighting or anything. Like, I literally text her all the time. We just don't really walk around school like we used to and stuff because, like, I made new friends and stuff. But she's still my bestie at the end of it, you know? She's still my best friend. Like, still one of my closest. Anyways, so, like, that other girl who's always making up rumors about me, she says that I sent that other girl. That threats and I'm like anyway so I go up to this other girl who I like best friends with and I'm like and I tell her what happened she's like girl what and I'm like so you're right I didn't do it and she's like yeah you didn't do it because like sometimes I do them stuff I forget so like I was checking like even though I know myself I wouldn't do that plus like if me and this person ever argue we don't like insult each other we we have like okay the point is I never do that okay I like I was just shocked that she would say that to someone when we never speak. Fam. And then, you know what's even more crazy? Alright, so this is going back to the story at the start when I was saying, like, I had this thing with a person in the school and everyone thought we were dating or whatever. Anyways, we weren't. Anyways. So, like, basically, at that time, uh, that person, like, one of his um, friends t was talking to this girl and she told that guy's friend that she was going to find me at lunch and fight me. Anyways, the guy told me and he's like, yo, watch out, this might happen, this might happen. And at first I start freaking out. And then I'm start I start laughing because I'm thinking about it. This person, they're like there. And like I can fight. Like if I fought this person, I would win. But at the same time, I don't fight people. And if I ever did. I wouldn't do it for no reason, you know? Like, I'd be defending myself. No, because, like, I'm not even trying to be, like, I'm not even trying to come off as, a, like, B-I-T-C-H, but, like, if I didn't want to fight her because, like, I know if I did, she'd get, like, proper injured, and I feel bad. Like, I don't want to be a person who gets in a fight and injures someone else. That's just, it doesn't go with my vibe. I just don't like that, you know? I just, I just don't. <laughs> Anyways, I'm walking around. See her and her friends, nothing happens. Also, this is very strange. Like, we, like when I say we don't talk, like, no communication, no, oh my gosh, you look so nice on your Instagram pic, none of that. So I'm like, why does this want to fight me? <laughs> why? Also, this girl started drama with, like, lots of other girls in my school, so I don't know why I'm surprised, but, like, it's just a bit weird, you know? <laughs> Anyways. Like, I would prefer, like, she doesn't like me, obviously. But I'd prefer if she said it to my face instead of just chatting like that, you know? Then after that, we have a class. Sis sits behind me in class. Sis doesn't look at me. And in my head, I'm just like, didn't Sis tell people she's going to fight me? Sis isn't even looking at me. 
I'm just like, it don't add up. I'm so, why do I look like I'm part of a heavy metal band? <laughs> no, but like, really, I'm just like, honestly, I feel bad for her. Like, I'm very worried. I don't understand what's happening. But like, girl, thanks for making good story time for me. And if you're watching, girl, let, just, just stop. Just stop. If you're watching, let's make peace. Let's sort it out. If you're sad about stuff and you're starting drama, you need to talk to someone, you can talk to me. Or you can talk to your personal friends or whatever. Also, basically, when she said, um, when she put me on her Snapchat story and all that, um, basically, one of my friends, he got pissed. And he sent her a whole last paragraph. And she's like, why are you being so extra? Why are you sending me paragraphs? You're, you're practically bullying or whatever. And, he, and he's like, you know, if the same thing happened with your friend, you would defend your friend too. And then she's like, you know what? I'm writing my, like an apology right now. I never got one. I never got one, sweetie. Honestly, my whole opinion on this is some people have too much time on their hands. And it's... Honestly, I find it very funny because I, I don't know. It's just it's just really funny to me. At the end of the day, if sis sees this, I don't care anymore about stuff. But like, don't go around telling people that I send someone death trips when it's not even true. That's that's just weird to be honest. We don't speak. It's creepy. Stop it. And be nice to people. Honestly, that's all I have to say. Don't make up rumors by people. Be nice to people. And tree, take care of yourself, you know? Get your mental health together because this this ain't it. <sighs> okay. Honestly, the reason why I'm making this video is because it's low-key funny. Like, low-key. Low-key. And second of all, I want this girl to know that she doesn't need to do drama. Like, don't. And the sad thing is, when I was talking to my friends about this, I was like, the only nice thing I can say about her is that she's really pretty. Like, sis is. That's the only nice thing I can say about you. That's very sad. But, like, when she was nice before, that was great, honestly. So, like, sis, change your ways if you're watching. Honestly, I don't care if she sees the video or not. Like, I like making story times. Honestly, I don't even care if I get an apology or not, but I want my friend to get an apology, the one that she ditched, because that was just spot out, to be honest. And that girl is like one of the nicest people I know, and when she told me that, I felt so bad. So, speaking of that one friend, I remember one time we were walking together at home time, and I took a picture of us, or it was like either a picture or a video, and I posted on one of my socials. And then the other girls was always making up rumors by me, she screenshot it, and I was like... Okay, I know some really bad personal stuff about that girl that I overheard, but I'm not going to say that in the video because people don't need to know. So, going back to the whole Snapchat thing, there's like this song that's like, rule number one if it's about me, at me so I can see it. So, also, I'm going to play like a bit of the song, so like if you don't like cussing, just skip it. Rule number one, if it's about me, at me so I can see it. Rule number two, if you heard shit that ain't come from me, then don't believe it. Cause I hate a bitch that like to post shit, that before you see it, she deleted. it. Or when you come to her, she get to switching up, like, girl, I ain't even really me. But like, honestly, just sending positive vibes to everyone watching the video, even if it's YouTube. Because, girl, I don't even know. But like, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell me, why do you think this is happening? Because I actually don't understand. And, um, subscribe. Follow my socials. All in bio. No link because effort fam. Freaking effort. And uh, new videos every week. Most of the time. And have a great day or night. It's like Friday and I don't know when I'm posting. It's probably Saturday. Effort to edit. But I love editing. But like, anyways. Bye guys. <laughs> I tried it so hard. Got too far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter.